All right, today we're going to talk about uh, how you would assemble your heat out and freeze out fixture. The parts you're going to get when you receive your fixture are three panels, three inner supports, one top part, and 27 bolts. The only tools you're going to need is a Phillips screwdriver to assemble the fixture. Note that your side panels have a top and a bottom. You want to make sure that you've got that assembled accordingly. In order to assemble your freeze out and heat out fixture, you're going to want to assemble the base and a center support with the two side panels with the fixture laying on its side. When you assemble your fixture, the screws will thread right into the supports. There's nuts welded onto the back side, so you don't have to worry about that. Once you've got the two panels, attached to the base and the center support, you're going to stand the fixture up to assemble the rest. Now you've got part of your fixture assembled. The last steps will be to attach the top support and the third panel. Then you'll stand up the third panel and attach it to the inner supports. The last step to assembling your freeze, freeze out and heat out fixture is to place the top pa panel on. Um, there are three su supports here that fit right into the side panels. And with that, your freeze out, heat out fixture is assembled. When it comes to putting hooks on your heat out and freeze out fixture, we've got two obviously, a 12 inch and a six inch hook. Your choice in which hook to use will be determined by which category is in season at the time. For example, freeze out in the winter time will carry a lot of inventory and freeze out you're going to want to use the larger hook. That will give you the ability to hold more inventory on the fixture. Freeze out in the summertime when we don't carry that much you'll want to switch to a smaller hook that way it's more appropriate for the amount of inventory that you'll carry. So this is your fully merchandised and loaded freeze out heat out fixture along with the mannequin. Uh, you want to make sure that you give enough clearance between the mannequin and the fixture so as the customer rotates the fixture around it doesn't hit the mannequin. So you've got heat out on one side. Again, using the shorter pegs because we're going out of season on this so we don't have as much inventory here. Freeze out on this side. Lots of inventory, longer pegs. We're able to hold a lot of inventory on the fixture. And one side can also be used as your feature um, or end cap presentation, if you will. <laughs> 